Hey yo, ladies and gents. Um, today I'm gonna talk about this guy. Hick Wakeman, grumpy old rock star and other wondrous stories. Uh, first of all, uh, I knew a lot about Wakeman before because I always been uh, an Yes fan and uh, firstly I, I got really hooked on him because he's a great, a fucking great musician he plays uh, his keyboards like amazingly everybody knows about that but something that I didn't know it's because uh, I didn't know before he was he is a fucking funny guy you know like in this book you know he's talking about things that happened with him uh, touring in his life you know? and there's there is the second I have uh, uh, the second volume of this book in my is an ebook version this is the printed version of the first one look at the back when he was younger like a strange one with these robes and all these things and uh, in this book uh, he has a lot of stories you know like trying to smuggle a KGB uniform from Russia at the time it was Soviet Union there's a lot of stories you know many many plenty of things and, and in the second volume there's a story about him trying to make a barbecue uh, he's trying to fix his house uh, in this one that's uh, so funny stories about uh, because uh, during a time the 70s the, the yes yes members most of them they were vegetarians you know and uh, Hick Wakeman used to go to the studio when they were recording whatever doing uh, eating a cheeseburger uh, drinking coke all the shit you know just to make just to let them piss off you know and it worked but there's there's a, 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 a part in here that he said that they were vegetarian but not that vegetarian you know? when when the dish was fucking delicious it doesn't matter if it has meat or fish or whatever you should eat it and it shows here you, you should read and not and not give you the whole situation uh, uh, and there's a, a, a funny story about him in Japan you know when he tried to speak and that's that's a, a great uh, uh, a great tip for those ones who want to speak in another language that is not uh, his or her mother tongue for example in my case English is not my mother tongue actually a little bit but uh, not not such different language like English and Japanese because he tried to 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 say good things to the audience you know like praising the audience but he actually end up saying another thing and it was not not funny you know at all of course now it's funny but you can imagine in the situation you know? and, and that's interesting because he said the word grumpy it means uh, though uh, that guy those guys that uh, are funny but at the same time are a bit angry you know it's the mix of angry and funny you know so and when you are old you know mostly you are grumpy you know like rah, rah, you say you start to act like uh, uh, the 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 thoughts that come to your mind, you are not afraid to uh, show them to the people, you know, by words or actions. You know, it's a great book. It's it's a very uh, short one, thin one. Look at the guy, amazing, amazing. Uh, and he tells a story about concerts, you know, the family background. Uh, it's it's uh, of course uh, it's funny for those ones who are used to uh, British humor, you know. Uh, but I I just love the guy. You know? uh, I probably I'm gonna I'm gonna buy the the second volume uh, 
printed version because I like to have it in my hands, you know. And this is the guy. Mm -hmm.